Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 17th, 2024. So starting off, we've got the change in Israel-Gaza conflict. Starting yesterday, June 16th, there will be a pause in the fighting daily through southern Gaza. This will happen during daylight hours and will be used to make sure the humanitarian aid can get to the Palestinians in this area. At this point, Israel is saying there's a backlog of these aid trucks, some 200 or more, that have yet to be able to be distributed, and they should help rectify that in the future. Meanwhile, people are looking at the folks in Gaza and being very worried that some have already hit the famine status, if not going to be there very shortly. So how long will this last? No one actually knows, and it does not change anything with regards to fighting in Rafah or other parts of Gaza at this time. This is a step in the direction of, but not officially nor fully, the kind of ceasefire that the Biden administration has been attempting. There are negotiations going back, uh, to, and back and forth for a temporary ceasefire of something like six weeks, but there's no official resolution to that just yet. Vaccines, vaccines, vaccines. If there's one thing the U.S. is really good at doing, it's undermining vaccines and their distribution. In the Philippines, it looks like the United States military targeted residents with, it says, anti-vaccine propaganda. Essentially, we looked at what Russia has done to undermine our elections and, hey, even our vaccine response. And instead of saying, well, no one should ever do this, we said, hold my beer, and got to work creating hundreds of accounts on X, calling out how, to face, how face masks are useless, test kits didn't work, and how the first vaccine, Sinovac, was garbage. All because why? China created it. The Sinovac vaccine comes right out of China and to undermine our largest foe, we so doubt about the safety and effectiveness of that COVID response and others. This propaganda machine ran from spring of 2020 until the middle of 2021, according to Reuters. And even the campaign altered to fit whatever group it was targeting as it spread through Central Asia and the Middle East. This is bad. Evilly bad. Sowing fear and doubt about vaccines while the largest, deadliest pandemic we've ever seen, at least in the last century, is killing tens of thousands of people per day, let alone giving credibility to the thought that if the U.S. was doing this elsewhere, what were they lying to us about? Keep in mind those dates, of course, because that means that this started under Trump and it didn't stop till months after Biden took office. So at least there's one thing they agree upon. Now for some sports. Just kidding. More bad news. This segment will be what mass shootings have already happened today. Chicago, Illinois, in the 900 block of North Pulaski Road, five people were injured. One teenager amongst them, and she was shot in the neck. The incident was described as one suspect shooting into a crowd of people. Also in Chicago, Illinois, just an hour later, we have seven people reported as injured in the 6,000 block of South Winchester Avenue. All victims were adults. One of the victims is in critical condition, and no one as of yet knows what started the shooting. The two suspects were also injured in the shootout. Now for the segment, Us versus Them, where we talk about a controversial topic and my opinion on it. Hot dogs are sandwiches. The most defining characteristic of a sandwich is that there's stuff we want to eat in between some things we probably don't care as much about. If you had turkey, pastrami, and some cheddar with two slices of lettuce on the outside, you'd call it a lettuce sandwich. A hot dog bun is really just a mini hoagie with a tube of meat in the middle. It's a sandwich for all intents and purposes. Don't think so? Prove me wrong in the comments. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.